Now, because it's the final show, we don't want any namby-pamby soft celebrity guests coming on. Instead, we're upping the quotient of rock-hard hairy blokeness as we welcome Iron Maiden's own axeman, Yannick Gers. <laughs> Say. Rock and roller. <laughs> now listen, yeah, Yannick, first of all, you've taken a break just now from your world tour uh, that yeah. you're on. Is there still a large groupie element these days? Large groupies. Uh, large groupies even? That are like 20 stone? I think things? the groupies are rather large, yeah. <laughs> we don't get groupies on this show. I don't get any at all. Well, you've got two beautiful angels. Well, exactly, that's I don't need them. That's, yeah. that's very well pointed out, Yannick. I was nearly in trouble there uh, from the girls. And the other thing is, I always wanted to be a rock and roll star, but I never had the hair, you know? Well, uh, you could grow it. If I had like 20 years to kill, then I might be able to get it to your epic uh, proportions there. Why epic is it then that, that so many uh, proper rock stars have long hair? Uh, probably because in normal society you've got to cut your hair and fit in. Yeah. So when you get the chance not to fit in, it's good to do something a little bit different. And never, never gets caught in the guitar strings or anything like that? Yeah, I've been caught a few times. <laughs> just snip them bits off and yeah. carry on. Well, listen, uh, we would have had Yannick on anyway because he is such a dead hard bloke and we like that on the show. But there is, another, there is another special reason, and that is our final event of the series, which we are calling Blokes Who Sweat Rock and Roll. Guffaw, if you will, but the most original and addictive game we've played all year is Quest for Fame, a rock and roll adventure that requires you to get to grips with the absurd yet strangely appealing virtual guitar, which plugs directly into your PC. Uh, hey, if it ain't the kid with the guitar! Like life itself, the action begins in your bedroom, where you begin to play along to your favourite rock anthems. The bar at the bottom of the screen shows the actual guitar strokes of the song, and the object is to match them with your virtual guitar as best you can. The score on the right of the bar shows how well you're doing. Assuming you've got what it takes, it won't be long before your neighbour arrives with the kind of news every would-be guitar hero longs to hear. Woo! Man, we might have a gig! We're gonna learn some new tunes tonight at the garage, so be there! All right! Let's get into it. If the rehearsal goes well that very night, we'll see you and your brain-dead buddies preparing to step on stage at local rock and roll sleaze pit, The Roadkill. Hey, all right, come on in, dudes. <laughs> Let's blow the roof off this place. Are you ready? Crank it up. Your performance at The Roadkill is reflected in the reaction of the punters. When they stand still, you're making a mess of things. But when you're playing well, you'll soon have the crowd performing the kind of dance moves only Californians are capable of. Our virtual virtuoso must play with sufficient skill to inspire at least six members of the audience to strut their stuff in front of the stage by the end of the song. Only if six people are grooving when the final chord is played, will he earn the joystick? And that's why Yannick is here. We've played the game up till the club level. He has to play the song Eat the Rich well enough to get six punters up and dancing. Help me out as a man who's no stranger to strapping on huge big guitars. Kirk Ewing, Kirk, any tips for Yannick? Yannick's going back to his roots here, playing some sleazy LA club, something which you're no doubt familiar with, Dominic. Uh, he's got two choices, basically. He can either follow the notes as they appear at the bottom of the screen, or he can just kind of free form, and I'm sure it'll sound good anyway. But maybe not necessarily points-wise, he won't do well that way. Well, no, he won't do well that oh. way, but uh, maybe he maybe he won't care. Let's not take anything away from the man no, he's at a, this I mean, stage. Uh, OK, then, so Yannick has to have six people up and dancing by the end of the song, and the song is uh, Aerosmith's Eat the Rich. Take it away, Yannick. OK, at the bottom of the screen, you can see those bars here. It's coming in now. You can hear them there. Not, not a terribly good start, Kurt. He's missing a couple of beats. Yeah, he's, he certainly is. And I don't think the guys in Iron Maiden would be terribly happy if he was playing like that. Oh, fat boy's dancing, though. Good. That's uh, one boy dancing. Yeah, you've got a fat bloke dancing in the audience. That was you, Kurt. That wasn't actually me, Dominic. I think you're playing that something that was much fat than you. <laughs> Possibly related to you. OK. Uh, the band are looking quite happy. You can see the manager's face in the bottom left-hand corner, though. He's not too happy. He is and indeed... Again, quick! we got to get it right! First attempt ends in fair with off. Of course, we are going to give him another couple of chances. Here he goes again. I like that 
We can see a score of 754. Oh, we've got four people dancing now, actually. One couple, one solo man, one solo girl. Maybe we'll, 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 we'll get together with that girl towards the end. I don't know. I mean, it is actually like the sort of club that River Phoenix would have died of boredom in, I would say. Quite possibly, Kirk. Still four people dancing. A couple of people looking as if they might want to, but they're not quite tempted yet. Scored about 750. Generally, a good score, about 850 upwards is a good score on this. He's hitting those beats well, though, Kirk. He seems to be doing quite well, actually, this time. Dominic manager's face is quite happy in the bottom left. The score is staying fairly consistent. You've got your sort of random LA people grooving away in the background there. I, I think it's doing pretty well. And the band are getting quite into it. Yeah. Trying to fashion victims, that they are. But we still need two more. It scores up. No, this is getting good. It scores up to the high 800s now. We want six of those people dancing before the end of the song. It's not that much. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they're all dancing. <laughs> it's a dance frenzy here for Yannick Girls. But so we might as well continue to the end of the song anyway. He's doing fantastic, though, Kurt. He is doing fantastic. He might even be considered leaving Iron Maiden and going and joining this gang if that's uh, one of the two. The two yes, buttons. a couple of people have stopped dancing. Remember, they have to be dancing still by the end of the song. A uh, little bloke, random bloke at the front there dancing. <laughs> I don't know quite where he's come from. Ha <laughs> ha, rock and roll. She's coming over here. She's trying on a little bit, kind of thing. I think that's actually to us. Yes. Uh, not yet. Oh, they're all dancing again. Look at those two blokes by the pool table. I don't know quite what they're doing. That's that's the slam dance. That used to be fashionable in Los Angeles. Uh, a long, long time ago. His score is up. Oh, it's just over 900, but it's just dropped back down slightly. And uh, I don't think it's too much longer this song, so he's going to keep playing a little bit more and he'll do it, but he's playing fantastically well. Dropped a little bit on the dance for there. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven. And random block. <laughs> he's still there. <laughs> He's the only one that seems to actually have moved up to the front. Everyone else has been a bit cool about it. You know, it's the LA way. You hang back, you let the band do their thing. They are. And again, Fat Block's showing a lot of energy there. He hasn't stopped yet. <laughs> well, he kind of needs to lose a bit of that weight anyway. He does. He's doing well. It's a special calorie control dance. He's doing that. That's the end of the song. The six people are dancing there like they were. Earlier on, it's fantastic. Yannick Gers has done the challenge. We're really on tonight, bud. Well done, Yannick, mate. Now, listen, it was uh, at the start, things went a little bit wrong. What were some of the problems that you were having? Well, it was an Aerosmith song, and I was playing an Iron Maiden tune, so it yep. didn't, didn't work. <laughs> no, there were bound to be problems there, yeah, mixing the two. Yeah. Uh, but in the end, it, it was fine. What was it like then playing in that small club compared to like playing in the stadiums you're playing now, and the atmosphere of our fantastic heaven? I think if whoever buys this plays in the club, and then hopefully they get to the stadium and see the difference as well. So you think this, this, this could well coax the, uh, the Iron Maiden Axe Men of tomorrow? Definitely, definitely. It's okay. a coaxer. <laughs> well, thanks so much for coming on indeed, Yannick. Okay. It's been great to have you on. And it means the winner of our special Blokes Who Sweat Rock and Roll Games Master Gora Joystick, Yannick Gers. <laughs>